Hi, I'm David Murphy. I'm here at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona with Chris Bork, who's Commercial Director at EMEA at Curiously. Chris, hi. Hi, Dave. So, Chris, uh, Curiously, what is it? Well, Curiously is a next-generation mobile ad tech network. Uh, we use consumer opinion to uncover their intent, and we then serve them mobile banner ads. Uh, and inside those mobile banner ads, we ask them questions. And in response to the answers, uh, we serve them branded ads. Okay, so put some flesh on that if you could. Just give us an example of how that might work. Yeah, sure. So uh, if you imagine that you're uh, an automotive brand manager and you're looking to try and sell uh, hybrid cars, uh, you might ask a question along the lines of, uh, my, next, my next car will be petrol, diesel or hybrid. And for those consumers that click on the answer hybrid, uh, we'll then show you an advert from uh, a typical uh, hybrid manufacturer. Okay, so uh, where are you at in terms of deployment of this network? Well, we've been working uh, now in an open beta for the last six months. We've uh, had a lot of success working across a number of verticals, even beyond automotive. So, so we've been working with uh, retail, finance, um, uh, travel and tourism, uh, and we've been getting some really good results, both uh, in uh, performance and in terms of affecting brand metrics. Okay, so you mentioned performance. How does your uh, ad network sort of benchmark against traditional mobile advertising? Well, we're seeing some really strong performance uplift, Dave. Uh, we're typically 100 times higher than online ad networks um, and somewhere between four and five times higher than legacy mobile ad networks. And we think the key reason for this is that when we ask consumers questions, uh, we pull those consumers into the brand funnel and they're far more likely because they've answered relevant questions, uh, they've self-selected, uh, they're far more likely to go on and engage either through click-through click through, or either uh, they're affected by uh, retargeted impacts of our adverts. So we're seeing both performance and uplift in brand metrics. And just in terms of inventory, where would I come across one of your ads? Well, uh, we only serve in smartphone apps and uh, there's a key reason for that. Um, we uh, believe that uh, we can only confidently add value through retargeting by uh, using smartphone apps rather than the mobile web. So consumers might typically find us in um, mainstream apps such as uh, Draw Something or Words with Friends uh, or maybe something even simpler such as iTunes Radio or a weather app. Okay, now I guess the one downside to all this compared to a traditional mobile ad network, which is very simple, self-service, is this is a bit more of a conceptual sell. You know, how difficult is it to get brands and agencies to get their head around this? Yes, it is, yes. Uh, so we're, we're investing an awful lot of time and money in education. Um, as with any uh, transformative change to an industry that's established, there's always a period of education. And so we're, uh, we realize that um, we're uh, using a substantial portion of, proportion of our resources and funding to work with agencies and brands to help them understand that this, this new channel, which we call Ask for Tizing, um, is potentially a more efficient way to reach consumers. And, and it means that they don't have to worry so much about legacy demographic media planning. Um, they're excited by that. Um, but of course, it, it, it will, will take some work. But we've got plans in the future to start to automate that process and to make it much easier and reduce all the friction. Uh, but just to be clear, there are mainstream brands on your books advertising with you? Yes, there are. Yes, yes. Uh, so we are currently in open beta. We will be releasing some case studies shortly uh, um, and sharing those press releases with uh, your, your good self. Um, but, uh, but for now, what I can say is that we're working with um, some very large brands uh, across telco, finance, uh, travel and tourism and automotive and we're getting some really exciting results and we can't wait to share that share those results with you okay well there are a lot of people who think that mobile advertising needs to be reinvented you're not the only company doing it but i do like your spin on it very best of luck chris thank you very much david